$10 billion worth of bad debt. All of the Luna Classics and the Luna Chain must be cleared out. Is it all the money owed for staking? What formula was used to arrive at this result? Who is responsible for this debt? We need to find a solution to address all of those questions. There are roughly 10 billion USD in the market. That's X8 to 6, that works out to about $10 billion. In other words, it's worth about $300 million. To put it another way, if you look at it from a macroeconomic perspective, buying up the market for $1 or $1 USD isn't a very huge accomplishment, even if you consider it a large sum of money. $550 million would be a reasonable price to pay for it. However, based on the current 24-hour volume, it appears that if we reach $1, many investors will sell their holdings, causing the price to drop once more until someone steps in to protect the $1 level. For now, we must consider all current supply to be exit capital, which will be sold at $1 to recoup investors' losses in the wake of the DPKG incident and the higher-than-average risk of owning UXI at this time. Given the existing supply of $9.8 billion, we'll need an additional $10 billion to clear the bad debt in the system. So, that's a great summary. When we take a look at everything, we'll see that. Let's go to CoinMarketCap and look at Terra Luna Classic. Terra Luna Classic is well known, aren't we? That's a lot to take in on its own. Price at the moment is at 0.8. People are interpreting this to mean that we must first restore us before we can access Terra Luna Classic, and this is what they're doing. As for the 1.2%, it will not be applied until that happens, so it won't make much of a dent until that happens. That isn't entirely correct, right? To put it another way, my guess is that they're not doing it to get us back to its current peg level, which would explain why they are throwing the 1.2% in there. Terra Classic needs to be restored to a position or level at which it can support the peg state. Because if Terra Classic can't support that peg condition, us won't be able to make it at $1. You can see this in action as we enter the United States Department of Defense, us. You'll notice that the entire supply is 9.82 billion. There are 10.254 billion people on the planet. Etsy has a market capitalization of $10 billion. Now, keep in mind that the algorithm is not yet active or set up. It's still there, but it's not doing anything right now. You can't implement anything in the US TSI to get this back to where it needs to be. It is your responsibility to incorporate the USP supporting features in Terra Luna Classic. However, as you can see, the minting feature has been reactivated to the point where it can support the USP, right? That way, the minting feature is activated so you can take some coins out and support the US TSI level. If they are going to do it that way, I have no idea how they'll do it. However, the key is that we need Terra Classic to return to a particular level in order for us TSI to reach a repeg state. The only other alternative I can see is to use the 1.2% instead of, you know, burning off all of Terra Luna Classic, which I would expect they'll do. Until you reach a stage where it's reasonable, you must burn off a certain amount for UXI. While $10 billion may seem like a lot of money, it's far easier to get back to 1 billion than it is to get back to 10 billion. Now, it's nearly impossible to predict where they'll go and how they'll get there. That is because of the bad debt that the company owes the government 10 billion dollars. Because Terra Luna Classic is going to have a 1.2% burn rate to get rid of this. As far as I can see, there's no other alternative when it comes to retying the two of them together. The only other way I can see of repinning both of them is to raise the price of Terra Luna Classic above the price of USP. I'd be concerned if it's far greater than us. Etsy allows you to make a difference. A dollar or more in the market means that you can have a big impact on the minting of Terra Luna Classic coins and don't need to mint trillions of coins if the market is stable. For every Terra Luna Classic coin that is minted, you will contribute $10 to the USP, bringing the price of the coin back up to, say, $10. As a result, the price will be significantly affected. Given that the USK is currently only $0.03 cents per unit, how much are you planning to purchase?